Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Lord of the Rings Online. And uh, yeah, we're in the vault in Breetown, West Breetown, as you might be able to see. And um, we have our Hobbit gift for the day, so let's have a look at that ever so quickly. What have we got? Combat run boosts, actually, that is good because I recently bought some more space in my vault, so that was two and a half gold. Um, so we actually have a bit of... Uh, extra space for the shabby tunics and stuff like that uh, and I was able to add uh, all my combat speed roosts. Actually I seem to already have three in there but I can uh, throw a few other items that I uh, needed not or didn't need in my inventory in there which is nice. Second thing we have is I have a deed I completed that is from Frost Bluff um, which is still on surprisingly. Uh, I did that last video and then kind of didn't play for a while um, and I came back on it was still on which is pretty nice so uh, we can, we've done the more the merrier tier 3, I think that's the last tier because it didn't give us a bestowal. Uh, that gives us two golden festival tokens and a yule festival frame. Um, which I didn't get, unless I accidentally sold it. Let's have a look. Uh, browse the shop. Buy back. Nope, doesn't look like it. Okay, so that's... Oh, oh no, I know what it is. It is uh, a Yule Festival frame, which actually I use on my main account, so... On my main character. So I'm actually going to keep that on, because I think it looks a bit nicer than the three-year frame I have otherwise. Because um, it goes all around. So, yeah, that's that. We also have our Sack of Presents, which is going to give us 300 marks, which is pretty nice. And speaking of marks, the other thing we are going to do is going to do a skirmish today. Uh, just because I kind of felt like it. Um, because... Well, I'm halfway through level 27 right now, and I kind of want to... Uh, that quest I have to do, I have to kill that mob, that, or yeah, that enemy that basically nearly kills me already, and I only got out because I ran. Um, you know, I only didn't die because I ran, and I don't care about not... Like, I don't care about my deaths, uh, really, but it's just a case of I don't think I'm going to be able to defeat the guy right now at our current level. Both a combination of us being at level 27, and I think the quest is actually higher than our level. Let's actually have a look. No, it's actually level 20, but it's a small fellowship. So it isn't... It's for multiple people. It's like for two or three people at level 20, so like a healer and an attacker or something like that, or multiple people attacking. So us being, you know, just a tiny bit in terms of everything, only seven levels above uh, the quest, but only one of us, and we're taking the full uh, front force, and we're doing all of the damage. Um, we kind of need to maybe get a bit higher in level, get some better armor, which we kind of need to uh, get to a high level for the creation of armor to be even worth it, because there are some pieces of armor we can get now, which there's just no point in having, and it's a waste of materials. It's so much easier for us to get that one extra level. I'm pretty sure we just have to get to level 28. Get to level 28. And just have this armor, which is so much better than the stuff we already have, but also a lot better than the stuff we could already get. The highest level stuff we can get at level 27. It's level 24 or level 25 stuff, um, which isn't that good. And also doesn't... It's, it's because it's some of the lower level stuff of the tier... Uh, crafting. It doesn't have multiple crafting, uh, multiple options, so you can't really make a set of it dedicated to a, cer a certain thing. It gives us like that's more stats on, in certain things, like gives us, let's say, might when we would probably want agility and vitality rather than, let's say, like fate and might. Whereas might is useful, but we prefer to spec it towards our character. Um, so those later ones have multiple outputs that we can use, so it's better to just use those ones instead. Um, so that's something we're going to do, and hopefully during a skirmish uh, we'll sort that out. And I might do a farming episode as well, as I haven't done one of those in a bit, so uh, that might help us get up to uh, level 28 uh, if we don't get there now, which I'm really not suspecting we will. Um, and then we can go back to the barrows and be done with it. So that's going to be fine, I think. And then uh, we'll be pretty much done in Bree once those uh, those quests are done. The 
Barrow's quest has to be done, and then one more quest after that, I think. And, um... Yeah, then we're pretty much done in Bree for the meantime until, like, level 40 or level 45 or around that. So, uh, we'll have the ability to take a little bit break from that. We'll probably go to the Lone Lands, as I said, and uh, maybe every so often go to the Shire. But as I said, the Shire quests are pretty repetitive. So, uh, we'll only do those on occasion um, so that we don't <laughs> literally do the same thing um, over and over again. Uh, episode after episode, uh, which is, we're close to that now because we're sort of just staying in the same place, but if we did the quests in the Shire, they would literally be the same quest, um, not even like really much of a variation. That is the stupidest thing I did. Why did I trap for him so he doesn't come out of the gate? Right. So I might also do, uh, Especially since we got those 300 marks and whatever marks we get from this. Uh, I'm not sure if I will put those into legendary items on my main character or if I'm going to be um, putting them into my herbalist here. Um, my herbalist on my main character is already pretty high, um, so I don't really have to worry about them particularly. Um, so it might just be worth throwing into this herbalist we have here. I know. Um, or if I remember correctly, there is a thing that will allow the herbalist to give us mana back, or uh, whatever whatever it would be called. C, what power, there we go. I always call it mana, but it is power technically. Um, so there is a way that the, we can get a, the herbalist to give us uh, power back as well, which uh, you can probably see from the fact that I was nearly empty, or pretty much was empty on it. Um, that is something that we do need to do um, pretty quickly, and it would be extremely useful for us because... Uh, where, while we do have the ability to get a, um, there is a way we can get, oh, that's why, because we haven't got enough power. Um, there is a way we can get a skill which uses our health as a, uh, instead of power. We do not have that yet. That is actually, uh, this one here, um, which we have to get four more ranks for. And that will use 53 morale to do 208 to 230 damage, so that's kind of the skill that we would use when we have a low amount of power, that we use, well, we use that, and then whilst we've done that, our power is going up, which is something we also need to um, upgrade our armor for, because, or not, right here, uh, if we look here, we have a fairly low amount of regeneration in uh, combat, 339 power per minute in combat, and we can actually get some... Uh, I don't know which ones of these give us extra... Yeah, in combat, morale regen is fate, and I think will is... Nope. Um, which one is it? Vitality? No, that's maximum. I don't know which one would give it. I don't know if it's there aren't any, but um, we can definitely get some armor, which helps us out with that. Um, and gives us... Um, gives us more morale, uh, or more power over... Like, overall more power like total so we can be at let's like, say 2000 power uh, instead of what we're at like 1500 um, and we can also uh, you know get that power back quicker as well so I'm just gonna try and sort of go around this guy because he does have an area of effect thing uh, that he can use on us so we don't really want to get in the way of that I have to remember what all my melee skills are though because I very rarely use them just forget they exist. And he'll be done soon. There we are. And then we're going to go wait for our power to come back and we'll go down to the Great Willow. Is it down here? Uh, yep. Sickle flies. Oh, willow flies and then Old Root is going to be uh, coming up after that. Ready for us to defeat there. And. I don't think we're going to get any deed completions here because I'm pretty sure the last time we did it we got our, uh, we finished the basic deeds, uh, so it's going to take a lot longer for us to get the um, advanced deeds from all these guys. So, uh, not going to get too many out of that, but you know we're always making progress to it, which is always nice. I'm just going to circle it. I'm doing. 
has pretty much no effect on how I'm doing everything. Ah, oh, he hit me. Right. So, I, I, like, I would definitely be dead, I think, at this point if I didn't have my herbalist. It's so useful. Uh, like, even if I had, like, a mage or anything like that. Oh, we actually did complete a deed. Uh, we did trouble in Tuckborough, which apparently we hadn't done before. Have we not, have we not ever complete, defeated Old Root? I think, oh, okay, fair enough. As I was talking about not getting deeds, I was killing the enemy I needed to get a deed from, and we got a title awarded us. You were thoroughly dealt with trouble in Tuckborough. Um, so apparently we had never done that one before. I kind of didn't realize that, which is a very interesting thing. Uh, I, th I would have thought we would have by now. Um, when I'm normally on here, it's it's pretty common for me to uh, to do that. I, it's normally the wolf that I, I get least commonly, so I would have thought that, that would be the one that we have to do last uh, out of all of them. But uh, apparently not. Either way, it's done now. I'll still be doing all of them, even though I've got the deed. It's always nice to get the extra uh, marks and the medallions out of them. Uh, it was, you know, it's, it's a little bit of extra effort, but you're guaranteed a medallion out of it. There's no real reason not to kill them, especially when we have someone like a herbalist, which means our health is never really going to go down. And especially when we get an upgraded herbalist, where we can actually get power back. It's always going to be a good thing there as well. Right, so we're going to now do counterattack, which means we're going to have to... There we are. The Stormkeeper, yeah. Oh, that's going to be close enough. Take him out. I actually need to know, what does the most power? 289? 230. So Barrage does do the most, unless I was talking about Barrage 3, which I guess would make sense. Yeah, well, Barrage 2 is 289. So I'll check after this counterattack that one after me. There's the one guy behind us that we have to take care of. Right. Okay, so they're both the same damage, uh, it seems. This is, or, was it 208, 230, 208, 230. So exactly the same, use exactly the same focus, but this gets upgraded, so it's. If we have the choice between the two, it's better for us to use Barrage uh, rather than uh, Penetrating Shot. Just because of that extra potential damage from it, um, just generally. Yeah, I'm more drawn to use Penetrating Shot because it's closer to uh, closer to where my hands are. Because obviously I've got, I've got my, my WASD and then 1, 2, 3 is above that. And then uh, three is Pendrick and Shot, where six is um, six is Barrage, which takes a little bit more effort to get to. Uh, but I guess I might as well start trying to put in that effort because the extra damage we're getting out of it is worth it. But I will use Pendrick and Shot whenever the cooldown is happening, so that is something that will uh, happen. Cooldown is pretty slow though, but actually it's always better. This has got us to cooldown of one, um, and it's got a cooldown of three. Oh, do we not? <laughs> Did I not wait there long enough? Yeah, it's got a cooldown of one, same power usage. But it, it does obviously upgrade, it gives more damage, but it takes you know, more power. Uh, anybody in particular to go after? Nope, because it's not the second set yet. So I'll take the archer out, because archers are annoying against other archers. Uh, just because. Focusing on the guys attacking with swords and clubs, and guys just get those extra shots, I guess, in. Another good thing the Herbalist is good for, they, they're like, you know, just a thing that the enemies attack, can't kill. Except sometimes they do kill, and it's worrying, because then I suddenly lose a lot of health. I haven't been paying attention. Um, yeah. Good. Moment I this down is the moment I realize I'm uh, pretty damn screwed. Either away from the plates or get them, you know, help where they die, which is to zero. <laughs> right. These guys are actually getting 
Well, not XP actually, I never noticed. Uh, 100 XP each, very um, But this should be the last one for the counter attack, so let's, let's just... Um, we can actually put down a fireplace quickly. Or oh, by a campfire, because that will give us, uh, what, 233 uh, power regen alongside our... Uh, actually, I don't know if that's including that, but... It's either 1,835 or like 2,000 a minute, so... Let's take... Oh, I should have probably gone for the lieutenant. The lieutenant. God. Especially since he's got a bow, and he's gonna poison us. So, he is the most annoying thing currently in play. I mean, we don't even poison people, and we're annoying. So, so yeah, he's like double annoying. I'll take the lone guy out here. I was about to say this captain's probably going to get alerted to that. But no matter. And then we'll go for the Defender of the Vial, if we can get close enough, with Barrage 3. And I don't think there's... Yeah, the rest are just normal enemies. For the rest of it. And we can also use Split Shot on these two, which is nice. Uh, except I just used it by accident. <laughs> which is... So clever of me. Gave us a perfect excuse to use Split Shot, and we didn't use it. Are you not in battle right now? Are you just not paying attention? Fair enough. I'm gonna go back to this campfire ever so quickly because we have low power. Really noticing that now. We really are gonna have to go for the herbalist um, upgrade. I think. I love I love pop-ups that just take me out of the game. It's always a fun one. Right. Yep. I'd say we're up far enough that we're not gonna. Uh, have to worry too much. We still have quite a bit of, uh, quite a decent amount, I'd say, of out of combat power regen. Anyway, I was like, okay, so it did add onto it, so it is 1,600 and about 1,800 including, which, yeah, that's including the 233, and, uh, uplift walls, so we're just gonna get rid of them, and everything is gonna be fine. And fills off his, uh, gonna be the last guy we kill, obviously. We've been through this a million times before. I'm gonna try and not use any of my focus skills right now, I'm gonna save him for him. And, uh, we'll be done with this skirmish, which took a little bit longer than normal, uh, actually. Let's set a trap down, use barrage again. Again, and again, there we go. And up here, we're gonna have to. It's a level 60 item, apparently. And we'll get a veteran bounty, veteran recruit bounty. And, uh, we just have to wait for this guy as usual. Uh, 34 silver pieces, that is not that bad. Some dallions and stuff, how much do we have? Um, we actually have 661 marks and 220, uh, 266 medallions and 2 seals. Any time I ever got seals before, it was from the lottery or the hobbit gift in the morning. Um, so, yeah, that's just going to be it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, we'll actually sell these Greetings, quickly. Uh, oh, wrong thing. Let me buy those back. There we are. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And I will see you tomorrow with... What might be a farming episode, actually, uh, or in the next couple of episodes might be that, because uh, we kind of need to start doing that, because we're only artisan level. So, thanks for watching, and bye-bye.